When the original Powerpuff Girls series ended in 2005, after having been on American television since 1998 through the United States-based Cartoon Network, the show had received critical and crucial acclaim and is now considered one of the greatest American cartoons ever conceived. Later in 2016, a period of 11 years after the original series ended, a reboot of the show premiered in 2016. The reboot was heavily criticized as being nothing like the original that it was supposedly based on. And one of the main dislikes of this show was the inclusion of a completely new Powerpuff Girl being that of Gliss. The reboot, as mentioned, had a number of problems with it. And the viewer complaints and overall hate of the show would later be represented entirely by the character of Gliss. Gliss was not introduced when the series started, but later on was brought in. The technical first episode with the character was in Season 2, Episode 13, The Bubble Sitters Club. The backstory of Bliss is that she was an earlier creation of Professor Utonium, and had actually run away from the Professor's home when her powers acted out of control through the plot of her contested origin. Living a period of her life away from Professor Utonium, she later returned to the Professor's home and learned that she had three younger sisters being Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. The fact that Bliss had just been literally inserted into the show as she was, and into the chronology of the Powerpuff Girls had many fans wonder why such a character be introduced at that time at all in the series, when the concept of a fourth Powerpuff Girl was not needed at all. Many had argued that the fourth sister of the Powerpuff Girls was in fact Bunny, in the iconic Season 2 Episode 11 Twisted Sister. Online commentators have said that even the purple design of Bliss's clothes were influenced or rather stolen from Bunny's design. And while Bunny was a beloved character for a short time that she existed and as a Powerpuff Girl sister, the clear hatred for Bliss was very visible online and highly discussed. An interesting theory was that Nick Jennings, an executive producer of this show, forced through the idea of Bliss wanting to have the original character be that of his own creation inserted into the show to have his own addition to the Powerpuff Girls lore and fandom. But the aspects of the character harder being considered and treated as that of the literal Mary Sue, which is a term for a custom a new character taking priority or importance over existing or more respected characters of a fictional source. It's a confirmed fact that Bliss proved to be so controversial and divisive among viewers that people refused to watch episodes of the series. In an attempt to lower ratings of this show when broadcasted on Cartoon Network in the United States to harm the series in terms of low ratings, in terms of damaging the series on purpose because of the dislike for Bliss. There were also complaints about Bliss's appearance when compared to that of the other girls, while Blossom, Bubbles and Buttercup and even the Professor are more of a European appearance Bliss seems to be an African or Hispanic appearance in terms of skin hue or skin color, which also offended potential viewers of the series as well. It just seemed that Bliss was out of place in the cartoon, even with her being off-world in outer space fighting interplanetary threats in some occasions. Discussions heard of that since Blossom, Bubbles and Buttercup often had the situation in Townsville under their protection, in order to justify Bliss's existence, there had to be another scenario to use or give meaning to the character. This reason being that of the implementation of the Universal Protection Bureau and Silico. There were further claims of Bliss being out of place with the preferential treatment that Bliss had during the cartoon, and at times she was able to do many of the things that the others could do but simply better. As one of the main aspects of the Powerpuff Girls in the original series, is that they were flawed as superheroines and used their flaws to better acknowledge themselves or to accomplish objectives in the episodes knowing their limits and viewers often enjoyed them trying to save Townsville while acknowledging their mistakes in the process. Bliss hardly did this. Up until the cancellation of the Powerpuff Girls reboot, public viewership opinions based on the character of Bliss were mostly negative and often the character was considered a literal representation of everything that went wrong with the series. A character could be overrated and hated because they just weren't needed. 